At some point in your badminton career, you're going to play someone who's stronger than you. In this video, I share my top 5 tips when you are playing stronger players to give yourself a fighting chance of pulling off an upset. Give these tips a try next time you're playing a stronger player and let me know how it works for you. Number one is to play on the same level, meaning don't sell yourself short. If you ever go into a game thinking your opponent is unbeatable, of course they're going to be unbeatable. You have to think that you're on the same level as them to give yourself even a small chance of victory. Come onto the court with confidence and believe that you can actually beat them. Number two is to fight for every single rally. You have to make it hard for your opponent, even if they're stronger than you. When you fight for every rally, there will always be something in the back of your opponent's mind thinking, hey, maybe they will actually get this shot back, or wow, that's so annoying, they keep returning all of my shots. If you ever give up easily on a point, however, your opponent will only gain confidence and they won't be scared of you at all. Try and make it hard for your opponent to win even a single rally. Number three, don't be afraid to take risks. Especially if your opponent is stronger than you, you have to take some risks in order to win a point. At the same time, if you're always playing a safe game against a stronger player, they'll just be able to control you and they won't be afraid of any of your shots. However, if you choose to take a risk, for example, trying a spin net drop or trying to smash down the line and you actually win these points, your opponent will have to play more steady or a different game just to adapt to your risky play style. Number four, analyze their weaknesses beforehand. If you have a chance or they have any clips online, try and analyze their game beforehand so you know what you're going to play coming into the game. Take some time to develop your own play style while also finding their weaknesses and adapting your preferred play style to get to these weaknesses. However, this is only possible if you have a chance to watch their games or they have some clips online. But if they do, make sure you do this and give it a try. And number five is lose, but learn. It's totally okay to lose to these stronger players. However, the best thing that you can gain from this is experience and learning how to beat them the next time. Try and record your matches with strong players or draw from these experiences and remember it next time you're going to play them or another strong player. Use these experiences to enhance your game and improve your level as a badminton player overall. And those are my top five tips on how you can steal a match from a stronger player than you. Like always, thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all I have for you in this one. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you all in the next video.